Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we're back at it. Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Yesterday, uh, you seen me fight with a piece of ex exhaust pipe, cutting it, and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to take a different approach today, but this is the one that we've made yesterday. I uh, just welded it up along the edges, buffed it off nice. I had lots of weld, had good penetration. You can see on the inside, good penetration inside there. So everything's fine. And uh, the reason I say that is because I've got it ground off quite... I got it ground off nice, and, you, and when you grind it off nice like that, you want to be able to make sure that you've got good penetration, which I do because I can see it from the inside. That's going to fit on the box like that. I'm not going to go and try to make a different one um, because we like this one. This one is fine. I think it looks quite, quite dashing. Not as dashing as Jolene, but quite dashing. So what I've done is I've, is I've cut six more side pieces. So we got six more. There's two there and then I've got two there ready to rock and roll and have the exhaust pipe put in for the front for the shape I have two more that's not connected there obviously I've got two more up here ready to rock and roll and I guess what we're going to do on this video is we're going to try to face it differently um, I'm going to take the piece of exhaust pipe that we have I actually I'm not saying I'm going to waste I had to find out you know you learn by your by doing something. If you don't do nothing, you don't learn nothing, obviously. Or if you don't if you don't do anything, you don't make mistakes. And I make mistakes all the time. But the thing is, where I cut this exhaust pipe and I sli sli sliced it every half inch, um, I wasted one side of it. Sort of. That's what I'm thinking. If I take this exhaust pipe this time, what I'm going to do, and you're going to watch me do it as I do it, I'm going to cut a piece to the length. I'm going to cut a little bit long and the reason being is it's nice to have a little bit of extra for to bend it and all that stuff um, to it's just what leverage. leverage have a little more leverage on it so I can bend it easier is what I'm thinking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find I can find the line just like I walled the exhaust pipe on the top of this piece I'm going to find a line I'm going to zip cut it down or cut a piece off we'll gut, zip cut it in half then I'll have two shapes of the exhaust pipe. Hopefully I can bend them to this shape without uh, making it all distorted and, and that sort of stuff. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. The exhaust pipe on the top, what I'm doing is when I weld it, I weld it some on this and then I come along the top and then I weld it some along the top on this. And it's basically, I just share the heat is what I'm doing. I'm sharing the heat. That's what I'm doing. So this is the We'll cut them two feet just to make it give us a little bit. Thanks for coming back, everybody. Appreciate it. I wouldn't mind getting this box tidied up before we take off to Houston, but we'll see what happens. I'm going to have to order another piece of just what I thought. Yeah. Let's cut this in half and then try to shape it. That's all I'm going to try to do. I'm going to find a line. I've got a line. You can see a line. I can see a line on the inside. Right there. There's a line. I'm going to follow that line. I'm going to follow on the outside here, but that's what I'm going to do. Cutting that sound reminded me of what did it remind me of? Uh, Crocodile Dundee when they were in the in the 
in the jungle and that guy was playing that horn <laughs> you know that's what it sounded like so i'm just going to draw another line here hopefully i can get it Now, excuse me for a second. That's an old hockey move, I guess. I can't get rid of it. I used to play hockey too. And I used to stick my tongue into playing that too. <laughs> Especially when I was when I was a stick handle and I had my tongue on it. <laughs> Alrighty. Wonder I didn't get it cut off. Do it again. Open up just like a peanut shell. I know one thing, that guy's a dead eye dick with a with a zip cut, isn't he? Huh? Let's take off some burrs on the inside so we don't cut ourselves. Huh, baby? Now, I'm gonna try to bend this bad boy. I'm hoping. Stayed nice and straight too, eh? Now, let's try to bend this bad boy. We got this thing right here. I've got this tire. I'm just gonna move this down a little bit. Got this tire here. I bent it yesterday on the tire. Um, so let me see for a second here. See if I can't go. Be nice to get it inside of something so I can bend it. Go that now, would you? See, there's, there's the thing. I don't know if I, I don't want to bend the front of the. All right. Bend it in the center. That's the deal right there. I don't know what's going to happen. What's gonna happen? Yesterday. Don't want to bend the front, is what I don't want to do. I wasn't for sure on this, but. Can I clamp it on that one? Yeah, well, see, I'm just gonna, I'm afraid that I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna, I need to bend it there. Let's see if I can do it this way. My poor feet have been taken a beating. I don't know, sweetheart. I don't know. Let's do this again. Um, damn it. I'd like to have something cushion on this side if I could. Didn't think that all the way through, did I? If I clamped it there, I could probably maybe pull it up. Clamped it here. That looks like a better thing to do. Let's do that. I didn't think it's all the way through how I was going to bend this. No, I did not. But we're just going to go for it. And that's what we do. Anybody that watches us do what we're doing, there is no cuts 
in, in, the, in Jolene's video. There's no cuts. We, we might pause for a, a, a pee break. We might pause for that, but we do not, Jolene does not edit anything. And that's the only way that we can get things done. She does not edit anything. I'm just gonna go back a little bit further on that. So this is basically as live as you can get. We do not, we do not, she does not edit anything. We've seen some people say, well, that's good editing. Well, there's no editing. <laughs> um, it is what it is. And you get, you get what we give you, um, which is live. It's not going to bad there. more. That little piece of pipe there is really working out handy dandy. Handy dandy. Um, there is editing on the Facebook part, but not on the, on the YouTube part. As live as you can get. I want to get, get it mixed up. It's, going to, it's not going bad. The face is not going bad. What I like about the exhaust pipe that I'm using, I can grind it. It's, I would say it's better than 18. It's better than 18. And what I mean by better than 18? Thicker. filming this from a live studio audience all right that's getting getting closer we're not all the way up in there I think that bend it's going good bad so far it's gonna take a little bit but I'll have two pieces instead of one and I'll save a couple grinder discs and noise and a whole bunch of stuff and if I get it if it starts spread, spreading on me a little bit like it is and then I went before I put it on it's starting to spread on me a little bit there and I'll just tap it back with the hammer and get it back in shape Cooking with gas now, baby. We cooking with gas. I'm, there. I'm just marking it where I think I want to bend it next. Basically, that's it. Jolene's doing a fantastic job walking around the shop. There's things all over the floor. Man, I'm telling you, she's a badass. She's a badass. I don't think I have to tell you guys that. You guys all know that. Ah, I'd like to have something probably a little better, but I'm thinking if I use a pair of ice grips, I'll dent it. I don't want to dent it. Not doing so bad so far. Not bad, looking good. Looking good. Now, looking good. Now, this is... I 
I got that one to go like that. How am I gonna get that one to go like that? Oh my God. Um, can't do it that way anymore. <laughs> nope, not gonna do that. Got an idea, Jolene? Got an idea? I do. Eh, I'm gonna put a dent in it. Let's try this. Just like if we bend our square to stock. Too far. Just bend it back like that. Nothing to it. It's working good. Just going slow. Easy does it. Now, when it's awesome. Keep rocking and rolling. Cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. See, I'm gonna bang the edges back after. Gotta get that to roll down some more. I'm going to have to get something up underneath here on this side to get so I can get more leverage on it. Bend it back in shape. Back in shape. A piece of, piece of wood. No, it's not wood. I'm concentrating right at the present second. Probably that's why I'm not saying a whole lot. Concentration, concentration. What's that? Perfect. I'm glad we got two brains going on here because with one, it would take a little longer. I've got a pair of vice grips on the sandbag because it had a hole in it. I'm gonna see if I can get that down a little bit further by putting that sandbag up there. Put my glasses back on. Wednesday. Pound that back in shape. Get off my shirt, please. See me being polite to that thing, would you? A little more bend right here. Damn, we'll get some more bend on that. Good idea, sweetheart. Good idea. Good idea. It's a kinkle and a dinkle, and it is. But it's nothing to put it back in shape. You know what I'm trying to say? Just a hammer. And... I 
Alrighty. I'm feeling not bad with that. I'm just gonna straighten out the edge. You can see the edge is a little crooked there. I'm gonna straighten them out. I'm gonna use a, a body hammer for that. I'm gonna use uh, my little station in there. I got a piece of metal I can lay it on. Just tap it easy. Ooh, I could have bent around this. Don't let nothing hold you back, as you can tell, what, with the way I do things. I don't let anything hold me back. I just go for it. Doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, you learn on the way. You learn on the way. In school, they give you the lesson Ooh. And then they test you on the lesson they give you. In life, you get the lesson. And, and then you learn. <laughs> it's, it's totally backwards, but it is what it is. I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm gonna, actually, I want to squeeze this one together here a little bit. Going by eye. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm not feeling too bad about that. I want to hit that just a little bit on that right there, I think. Just a little tiny bit. I'm going to just pull it up a little bit. Let's do it again. If you don't like something, take your time and go back at it. It does not hurt at all. And if you like it, cruise on. Basically, what I'm, what I'm planning on doing is fitting one side, and then we'll fit the other side. Just want to make sure the pipe is all the same, all the way down along through the same. Doesn't look bad. Just turn on. I think that, well, well, we'll say when I, when I get this one on here. Hmm. I'm going to do it again. Just a little tiny bit. I got a little bit of a gap there. I want to see if I can bend that just a little tiny bit. I think I can.
wasn't what I wanted, was it? So we're just as live as you can get. If there's any liver, you'd be here. <laughs> Winnie baby, huh? Let's weld it on. Let's not be so damn fussy. Well, sometimes it pays to be fussy, but other times. There's that. I'm gonna go with that. The reason being is because I like it. Because I like it. It's gonna... A couple little marks in it. We can adjust that when, as we go. I also will want to clean off, probably take a little off that, clean off the exhaust pipe itself. Would like that squeeze together a little bit there. That now, would you? Hot diggity dog. Stand this side up a little bit. I'm just wondering if I can get something underneath that to pry that up just a bit. Um, no, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Nice and tight. Woo! When I put the weld on this, I think I've explained it before. I will put more weld up top on the exhaust than down on the metal. And the reason being is I'll be able to feather it off like I did that one. I did not exactly get that butt welded on there and it does not have to be butt welded on there whatsoever. Not even close. So it depends on how you weld it up, how you're gonna grind it off. So I will put more weld up top so I can really grind it off nice. And it'll make all the difference.
Now, I do not know, this is one thing I do not know. I do not know if this round piece here is exactly the same height or just like that, but it would be pretty hard, like for me, like this, these two, all these pieces here are cut the same. Basically what is I want is I want that round shape on for the face, and that's basically it. I got a couple little, little tiny boo-boos there, but you're, let's face it, we're gonna have to, like I said, we're fill them out. But other than that, they look fantastic. I'm going to take this off. I'm going to grind uh, a little bit on the edge. Before I do that, something I'm going to do, just to show you how I do things. Now I've got that tacked on there. I'm going to run along and run along and tack the top of the box here. Because I, I never, never welded that solid. I just weld it as I go. Keep in mind, every, everything can move when you're welding something. That's basically why I try to do it this way. Another thing, with the, when I'm welding this, I put a lot more weld coming up on the pipe. So when I grind it off, I can grind it off really nice. I'm almost ready to finish it off, so I may as well. I've only got a couple left to do. Then we'll stand it up and show you how it looks. Yeah, there's a couple places I'm just gonna leave for now. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna cut this off at the end so it's the right length. Amazing, amazing you are, Joanne, you're amazing. I'm so happy about this. We now I know how to do the second one. I know how to do the next one and those ones over there. Cut it off and then I'll buff it so it's straight. Trying to get off some of that aluminum. When I do the next one, I'm gonna I'm gonna scuff that off first because now I'm kind of going backwards a little bit. I could have scuffed it off with the grinder and set it in there and been happy, but I kind of went too a little too quick. Now I got to go back and knock that aluminum coating off on the outside so it welds up nice. But next one I do. I'll make sure that I, you know, it's kind of a <laughs> backwards thing once in a while.
A mistake. On my hat. Helmet back on. If you put a few more beads of weld up this bad boy, get this one tight, tight and right. See how far I bring that weld up? I'll probably do that along the whole way, and that way there, like I said. I'll have something to grind off. And I'll be able to feather that. And I won't have to worry about penetration because I'll have lots of weld on it that'll hold it. Leave that alone for a second. Let's do this. Bingo, was her name oh? Alrighty, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take and show you this. So as I do this, or, or as I do this, I'm going to sh actually show you how. It's good. Just feeling the heat. This is how I'm going to do it. And you know what I'm going to do the next time. Once I get it bent, I'm going to flap or wield the edge of it so I don't have to do that with the grinder next time and set it in there and just weld it. I don't have to go back and try to dig at it. If you want to come over this side, sweetheart, I'm just going to show how. I'm, well, I can show you on that side too, but show you how I'm going to weld this bad boy. I've got my air hose and I'm ready to rock and roll. So this is how I did the one yesterday. You can see how I got it buffed off nice. I'm going to be able to do the exact same thing on this one. This is how I did it. Generally, I say go for every fours. That's just so you don't, do not warp it. Where I'm using the air, the heat is coming up. It's not basically going down. I've got a 90 down there, so it shouldn't really take off. But what I'm thinking is I'm just welding it up as quick as possible. And I'm trying to put more weld on top of the exhaust pipe so I can feather that weld off and make it look nice. That's how I'm doing it. Right on it. 
shrinking it just as quick as possible. Basically, when I'm putting the, when I'm getting it hot like that, and I'm putting the air to it, I'm basically shrinking it. Now, with me using the air, I should be able to grab a hold of that. <laughs> Just as cool as a cucumber. Just as cool as a cucumber. I put the air to it, bringing everything back in place after I weld it. And that's what I'll do. I'll continue right up the whole side, right up the whole thing. Now I'm kind of, where that's cool like that, I can touch it. I might as well go right back at it. But I'll go up this side. I'll go in between each one. So I've got a caterpillar here, a caterpillar here. I'll go in between the caterpillar right there. And I'll go in between that caterpillar. Right I'll just kind of, as, as Jolene's on that side, I'll go next time I'll go in here, next time I'll go in here, next time I'll go in here, and just go in between each one of those so I keep the heat down. I want to take and just give it, a, show you for a second, give you a take a look at it, show you what the box side is really going to look like. I'm going to give you a visual. And um, when it's all said and done, now that's a great I'm, I'm ha so happy that that worked and I cannot lie that was Jolene's suggestion well, can you cut them in half and do that and I said well I can try it baby I can try it so that's what we did we tried it um, Jolene kind of inspired me to um, she inspired me to try it that way and it worked and, and I'm very happy um, so when it comes time for you to do something if someone gives you an idea 
you don't always have to go with it. You have to think it through, basically. You have to think it through. But when I thought it through, it would be nice to get... I had a piece of uh, exhaust pipe yesterday that I could have got two pieces out of. Um, I have an, another piece of exhaust pipe, but that was going for the top of uh, the rail of the box side. But now I haven't got exhaust pipe for the top of the box of the rail side because I've, I'm using it on this. Um, basically, I could have cut that one in half and got two, and I still wouldn't have gotten got it, would I? Would have not gotten it. But I'm using less material to get where I'm going, and that's a, that's a good thing. So I've got two more to make. I'm going to wait till I, I basically can make them. I can set them on this to make them. But I'm going to set the box, turn the box side up, and show you what it's going to look like. Um, and it's, it's, it's to the effect where um, when it's all said and done, um, where did you buy your box? Well, we made it. And uh, those things look really nice as far as I'm concerned. Um, you can see, on the, if you want to go on the other side, you can see how the exhaust pipe is all welded along the top side. We have no issue with that nice and straight. My, that's nice and straight. Down the top is nice and straight. I put lots of weld on it going towards the exhaust pipe so we can buff it off nice. Um, we've got a nice shape going on there. We've got a nice shape going on there. Get them ground off nice. And then we can have something that we can call a nice box side. Um, we got a fender yet to put on. Uh, like I said, on the fenders, uh, the fenders bolted underneath of the wheel well. On the box, they bolt on the side of the box. So the fenders are going to have to be modified to fit the box. So making a truck out of a four-door car is, is quite a bit of work. But if you put your brain to it and get to it, um, you can do it fairly quickly. And basically, that's what I always do. I try to... I, I race myself. How fast can I can I do things? And um, it it makes for a little more fun in the in doing it. Um, when you stretch it out so long and takes a long time to do it and and go for perfection, sometimes it just wears and knocks you down and and uh, slows you up and it wears you down. But for me, I find if I play a game with it, now I've got those two other pieces over there, or the two other rails that I have to make. If I can get them two other rails done today and get them all welded up and all ground off, I'm, I'm looking good for box sides. And that, that would make me happy if that happens. And I probably will go for it. I probably will go for it. And that's quite dashing. That looks quite nice. You'd think that you would have bought in that. Also, the boxes that you do buy, somebody makes them. If you know what I'm trying to tell you, somebody makes them. So, there you go. Um, things might be, you know, rolled out, you know, like this piece here, if, you, if you're buying a piece like that, that piece might have been rolled out and they might have something that does that automatically that can do it for you. But it, as I'm doing it, I'm cutting it in half and bending it on a piece of round stock. You can do the exact same thing. I think that's, that box is going to look fabulous. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to weld, weld this up. Then I'm going to take two or more of my pieces, set them in the exact same place. I'm going to take the other piece of my... Um, exhaust that I got cut in half and start bending and shaping basically and it's too bad I might even I might even I might even this is what I might do where I have that exhaust there and this is this here is almost the right length I might just cut that in half and weld a piece on it and and, and buff it off and then go from there because I can bend uh, so far and then add a piece to it and uh, make my piece instead of cutting the length of exhaust pipe that I have because I have to cut it in half so I'm going to waste a half of it so I think I'd probably rather just see there's another thing I might be able to um, if I use my brain I might be able to add some on that get the length of my box and then take some of that and weld it to that and cut that in half to get the other piece of my uh, shape of my bed or steak post all right everybody thank you very much for coming back and watching like i said in school they teach you the lesson and then you get the test in life you get the test <laughs> and then you get the lesson does that make sense hope so if you like throw a comment and if you like have a share and uh, comment and subscribe and come on back tomorrow we'll be here